Ladies and gentlemen, Playboy Cardi has just dropped a whole lot of red. Um, listen, there's a lot of talk about the deluxe version. Um, we've heard names like Travis Scott. We've heard names like Post Malone. But Lou, we're here to talk about what's actually going to happen. We low don't even know what's going to happen. But what do you think is going to go down, especially in the next coming weeks? I'm just surprised that there's only like three features on whole lot of red. I mean, there were, like you said, Post Malone was uh, rumored to be on it. We had Travis Scott rumored. We had Lil Uzi Vert rumored. And also, like, um, Pharrell, I think, was rumored to have either yeah. a producing credit or an actual feature. And we didn't get any of those. So I'm really thinking that we're going to be getting a deluxe from Playboy Cardi. Also, just because there were so many leaks that have come out over the last two years that are probably going to resurface onto streaming services, you know, in the way of a deluxe album. Yeah, and you know what? I just, I feel as if that I didn't get enough with the whole track list, so a deluxe album is probably needed in here. Wait, wait, I, you, you just said you didn't get enough yet? There were like 25 songs? No, nah, dude, it was all fucking skips. Come on. like Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't get anything out of it. Maybe yeah. out of that 25 track list, I got five solid songs that are going to be in my rotation, mm -hmm. um, which is not enough for me for a Playboy, for a Playboy Cardi project, um, considering the past two body of works that he released. And listen, for any of you guys are going to call me... Um, you know, a uh, fucker for trying to tell me that I, I don't appreciate new, uh, new Cardi or whatever it is. Um, this is what I'm going to say. Cardi reinvents himself every single album. He did it on this one again. Just it's not, it not it's a question of quality and the quality was not there. I just think that, I mean, the, 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 like you said, the production was A1. Um, you know, he brought in this punk aesthetic and also some rock vibes, but he just, he wasn't really, there were even a couple of songs where he wasn't rapping on the beat. He was rapping off beat and also... Um, it's just the beats weren't necessarily catered to his sound in the sense that he couldn't keep up on them. Yeah, they were way, they were way too high quality for him. Yeah. Um, shout out Pierre Bourne. Um, shout out shout out Weezy. Shout out Art Dealer. Um, you know Kanye unfortunately didn't even have any credits on it, so it was a super underwhelming project. But let's talk about the deluxe more. Um, I think we could expect a lot from the deluxe, right? Because. There, there's a lot of stuff that was missing from the main track list that I want to hear. From example, that Travis feature. I want a Love Hurts part two. Mm -hmm. I want a Houdini part two. I want some stuff like that. I want a Green and Purple part two. I want something that I'm going to be able to put in my car and that's going to absolutely blow my speakers. Another thing I want, I would like to hear Post Malone. Screw it. Give me Post Malone and Playboy Cardi. I want to see how that would sound. You know, Post Malone right now is is, is a super pop bag type stuff, but his vocals are still fantastic. So And Cardi had some I, pop elements on this absolutely. album too, so that could really go well together. Um, what I really want is for the song, um, I think it's called Pissy Pamper. Yeah. With, I want that song um, to be released on streaming platforms platform just because it's only on youtube now and it's the infamous snippet that cardi posted on his twitter and i just need that on my spotify right away just because i think that if it would have been on the album if it would have been on whole lot of red it would have been the best song on that project yeah definitely um not only that uh, but i'd love to hear a pharrell feature mm -hmm. um maybe if, uh, even if i can't get a feature give me a producer credit i'd love to hear playboy cardi on that sort of vibe just because you know they're both in not a similar lane but they're both two artists that are so experimental with their productions and the way that they you know delivered their craft and the way that they're able to go into a song so i'm there with it now the question is how long are we going to get the deluxe um and how much much of the deluxe are we going to get because this is the thing i don't want it to be a case where i get a completely new album no definitely not that's not what i'm here for what i'm here for six to seven songs something nice that's something not gonna like, happen though. something <laughs> i could get nice i'd be happy with that listen uh, look okay how are we gonna get another deluxe album over 10 songs if you're gonna tell me that there is like still you know if there's like five it's all about keep, streams yeah. man it's all I, about fucking streams he's gonna put out another 15 songs and I just hope that it kind of fits in with the whole lot of red aesthetic. Oh, I don't know if Playboy's like um, that. And what's crazy, though, is that like us as consumers, and I'm sure a lot of Cardi's fans have gotten a 25 song album and yet we want more from him yeah like i can never I get enough of playboy cardi regardless of how i feel about whole lot of red and the fact that it was underwhelming i still want to hear from him absolutely and i want it to be more frequent with his drops because listen if you're going to give this sort of quality at least give it every three months don't have people waiting two years for it yeah for or, sure. or more specifically like over 800 days you know so that's what i'm trying to say Guys. is like yeah so that's what i'm trying to say is just fuck it you know Go into the album with expectations. Um, but, you know, we could expect some cool things from the deluxe. Um, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Guys, I think we do yeah. have to appreciate, though, that, you know, he has changed his sound once again. He's, you know, he's evolving as an artist. And I think he will continue to do so. So, guys, let us know in the comment section below. Do you want to hear this deluxe album? And do you think that we're going to get it within the next two or three months? 
let us know and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy content just like this absolutely guys and i did not mention this before um but if you guys actually go to the previous um uh, not the previous you go to the artwork it's gonna say volume one edition one i think it is like something around mm -hmm. that line so i think you know i think it's pretty much confirmed that we're gonna be getting a deluxe version of this so guys subscribe if you haven't already and take it easy Thank you.